Baal community is very, very aware and is conscious of its um, of the environment and of uh, sustainable energy projects within the community. Baal community has also been accepted onto the Sustainable Energy Communities Initiative, which is run by the SEAI, and we're currently in the middle of drawing up a master plan uh, with a view to making Baal a better, uh, more environmentally friendly community going forward. Everything we do in Baal, we try to do it in a in a environmentally friendly way as possible. Um, and the Thai Towns, while uh, it's recognised as being uh, an organisation that looks after uh, keeping the village tidy, we get involved in lots more projects. We have been involved in developing a community garden, a community orchard and a biodiversity garden. So more and more, and you'll see with the walks, Everything is about sustainability, about environmental sustainability and we do everything we can to make sure that happens and we promote it as much as possible. In 2016 we formed a biodiversity garden with the help of um, a grant, right? And then in 2017 and 2018 we planted an orchard on Mayo Day and with the help of the community and all the children. Now that's a really great thing because the children got to plant a lot of stuff and uh, you know they're learning about uh, you know where plants and all that come from. You know Tidy Town is a daily operation. Uh, I live in the town so every day you know I spend my five minutes and I do a general pickup to keep the place very presentable. We, we do a huge pickup every spring right. We actually clean the river and um, we got something like 20 bags of litter from the river. Now this is very important because you know for the fish and the wildlife and all that to keep that area clean. We're very fortunate to have a solar bin because very few areas have that. It compacts uh, I think about six times a day right and it takes uh, way more rubbish than an ordinary bin and then it actually tells the council when it's full right so you know you can see all the savings in that and it's a real plus for us. My name is Joe Vaughan I'm one of the nine directors of the Baltown Parks. The parks were left to the community by an old land, English landlord, Blas Lynch. They're still owned by the community to this day. Over the years we have developed uh, several parts of it. Uh, five years ago we got a neighbourhood scheme which we were able to set 5,000 trees and we put walkways and uh, signage in to tell people what type of trees are, are uh, growing there very good for the kids and for education. We put in uh, picnic areas and we developed a fairy village for the younger kids. But to do all this, it has to be a community effort. So, you know, we got um, help from the GAA, the golf club, the landowners, the Val CRD, the Val Tiny Towns, and uh, the community in general were very good and uh, appreciate all the work that's been done. The parks are great for the wildlife. As you can see, we have the red squirrel and uh, the flora and the fauna. And it's, it's very well used, especially now with COVID, uh, the place is uh, tremendously used, so it's great. We applied for a town and village grant, which we were lucky enough to succeed in getting. And with the help of Anne Sweeney and our wonderful team, they designed uh, engineered and printed this project you see here in front of this, this walkway linking the town park with the village and the surrounding areas and the woodland walkways. The Thor Valley Walk which is here behind us goes right back as far as Gore Park as we all know. Initially started off as just as a walkway but I think as time has gone on and between that the work of the town park and the tidy towns particularly um, the whole aspect of nature and, and the whole aspect of, of being in touch with it and close to it um, has really come, been very significant. Uh, the school kids to come back here regularly on, nature, on their nature walks through the woodlands and use this facility for, for their general, um, general education. People have become very aware now of, of we've seen barn owls back here have been spotted, squirrels have been spotted back here and they've been, there's, there's phone numbers you ring to say where you spot them. They put up bird boxes. Um, they have also put in 
the tracks and the paths are super now for people bringing their dogs and for walking. So I suppose from that point of view, people won't touch what's going on. The signage, as you've heard already about various trees and the area around the place here, and people are more conscious of what the environment is about and what it's not about. So it's, it's, it's really a community effort to make big more aware of what they have and we had to appreciate it. So the, the environment is a big benefactor of this, in, in our opinion. The community has always been aware uh, of the environment and is conscious of uh, its responsibility to environmental projects and green projects. Mayo PPN, your voice, your community. Going green for St. Patrick's Day. For more information, visit mayoppn.ie.